you also have your favorite superheroes. You mentioned Batman and Superman. When did you start really, you know, um, being fascinated, really being fond of these superheroes? I've had a long association with these characters, not just because I look like them, but I'm also genuinely very interested in them. When I first got in, interested in superheroes, it was 1989. That's when the first Batman movie came out. And I saw that Batman movie when I was a little kid, and it it almost, it really affected my life. It's hard to say, but that movie, I must have watched it about 100 times that year. I got the VHS tape when it came out to VHS, and I just watched it over and over again. I'd never seen a movie like that before, and it really got me interested in Batman also, Superman, um, back then, Superman was not very popular, especially Batman was kind of reinvented as being a dark, avenging hero, and Superman was the opposite of that. He was always very bright, hopeful, optimistic, very clean cut, but I also liked Superman, unlike a lot of other kids, and I liked him because he was, kind of, like I mentioned before, he is the opposite of Batman, and there's something cool about that, too, but... I watched those Superman movies as well, although they were old by the time, by the time I was a little kid. Those Superman movies were, were kind of old, but I saw them on VHS. Uh, the only one that was more recent at the time when I was a little kid was that last one, Superman 4, The Quest for Peace, where Superman fights some sort of blonde, muscular, hunky blonde guy that's powered by the sun, which was kind of a corny movie. That's like the Superman movie that's almost forgotten. People don't remember that one. But I enjoyed all those Superman movies. I watched them on VHS. I watched Batman. And then I started, I got into, from there I got into collecting the comic books. And I just buy comic book after comic book. And I got involved with the toys, the, the action figures of the superheroes, in particular Batman and Superman. And the toy thing, I eventually quit collecting comic books after high school. Or in high school, I quit collecting them. But the toy thing really, really uh, kept my interest. And I collect toys even to this day. Unfortunately, I had this big selection of Superman toys. I sold off a lot of my collection because I moved out of my apartment in Los Angeles. And I had to put stuff in storage and I just didn't have room for everything. But I sold off a lot of my Superman toy collection. Among all the actors who portrayed Superman... Who do you love most? Or, yeah, who's your favorite? That's a hard question. I know most people my age would say Christopher Reeve, and I think most people in general would say Christopher Reeve because he was kind of the Superman of my generation just from those movies. People that are older than, say, 45, they would probably tell you George Reeves from the old 1950s TV show. Like, to someone my father's age, to them, Superman is George Reeves. But then in the 90s, you had a, su a new Superman TV show, and Superman was portrayed by Dean Cain, and I felt that he was an interesting choice as well. Speaking of Christopher Reeves, was that um, his Superman costume that you got to wear for a photo shoot? Yeah, that's good that you brought that up. I forgot to mention that. I actually wore one of Christopher Reeves' Superman costumes from the original Superman movie, uh, I wore that for a photo shoot. Those, those photos are all over the internet. Ayan. Oh, diba? And dami pa actually interesting things about um, how super, uh, how Travis loves superheroes, especially Superman. Dahil nga, actually, you, as a model, you also worked, uh, you also had modeling jobs wearing Superman costume, right? At isa na, yo, isa na sa mga super bonga I when you had this photo shoot as Superman and other superheroes with Lindsay Lohan for Harper's Bazaar magazine. Travis, can you just share them some thoughts about this job you had with Lindsay? I've actually done a lot of different shoots as Superman for various projects, but obviously the highest profile one I did was the shoot with Lindsay Lohan. And for that, they auditioned over a thousand guys and they picked me because they needed a guy that looks like Superman and I, I guess I'm the obvious choice for that but that was a fun shoot just because it was by it was done by a famous photographer and of course Lindsay Lohan in a big magazine Harper's Bazaar but to me the biggest thing was that I got to be Superman there you go and you should not forget when you 
went to Kalbayog City and had a motorcade in Superman at sobrang dami ng mga tao. By the way, guys, you can check out the video of that nung nag-motorcade si Travis uh, sa, what's this? sa buong Kalbayog na naka-Superman costume siya. Pumunta lang kayo sa kanyang YouTube page. I-type nyo lang kanyang pangalan, Travis Craft. Or you can check his website, traviscraft.com, T-R-A-V-I-S-K-R-A-F-T dot com. Travis, do you want to say something? Yeah, hopefully you guys are following me on the internet and uh, checking out all that stuff. Just about everything I do these days, I see I post it on the internet. And one more thing, Travis, before we go on a break. Do you still buy Superman toys or any you know stuff like that now? I don't buy any more toys just because I had so many. And the ones I had, I didn't have any room for them. But I still find myself looking at them in the store quite a bit and, and wishing I could buy them. <laughs> 